What's up guys, welcome back. So in case you don't know, Helix had an airdrop for Pith. So basically they distributed some Pith tokens. And here we have the criteria for the airdrop. The video is not specifically for the Pith airdrop, but what we're gonna be using is the old criteria for Pith. So we're gonna be using it for the future Helix airdrop. So because I think it is quite good. So for example, here we have um, the first one, which is actively trading on the spot and perps market. You guys can see it says N, so that means it is inclusive. And also you need to be staking at least one injective. That injective, that means you, be, you need to be staking it with a validator. So if you're using Kepler, you can just go to staking and then look for a validator. You guys can see that currently I am staking around 10 injective and I think that is more than enough. So if you guys can stake uh, maybe two, three, four, five, that should be more than enough for you to qualify or at least have that covered. Once you're done, go to the Helix platform and make sure that you're using every single thing that is available. So if you go to trade, you guys can see they have swap. Most of you guys already know how to use a swap. They have spot. They also have perps, which if we go to perps right here, you guys can see that I am on BTC USD, USDT perp, which you guys need to be using some USDT to trade it. So if I open a small position just for testing, let me go ahead and use some leverage. Let's go long. I am on market buy. Then we're going to be approving the transaction. And basically I am using it right here. Let me actually move myself somewhere here. And there you go. So right there, I have one position. So at least I know I'm basically covered. Obviously we need to be more consistent. We need to continue to use it and increase our volume so we can receive a higher allocation. If I go ahead and refresh, we should be able to see my position that is open. Here it is. So if I want to close my position, same process, just click X and then we're going to approve and then close our position. The next thing that we need to use, go to market and then look for futures. So once you're on futures, um, look for maybe injective USDT, XRP, Atom, BNB, and make sure that you use not all of them, but just try to hit some of them. So obviously you guys can qualify for a, for a bigger airdrop. I'm going to also going to be posting this blog so you guys can check it out. But for example, on the second, we have users who trade on Nova markets on Helix, such as pre-launch futures and have stake one injective. So pre-launch, usually you should um, see it on their Twitter. So whenever there is a new one, you guys can participate. Also, we have users who traded on Helix Spot, Perps Market, and also Grid Trading Bots, and also pre-launch futures trading. And again, stake one injective. The last one is for the top 10 rank users, which most likely I'm not gonna be within the top 10 because I am not a trader. So the last one is using a liquidity bot. So just click on liquidity. Then look, for example, on injective, which is the one that I like the most. You guys can use auto, but I do prefer manual because I can set up my range. So currently this is the price of injective right here. So I'm going to drop it maybe around here. Then I'm going to add the number of grids. The higher the number of grids, that means you guys are going to be adding or placing more trades, but also you're going to need more injective. So I'm going to use something like maybe 15 grids, um, which is $75. I'm going to use injective only, which is around 2.1. Yeah. Create strategy, confirm. And basically what it will do is buy and sell injective for you so basically as the price goes down it will be using usdt to purchase some injective as the price goes up it will sell some injectives so hopefully it can make some profit to be honest i have used it in the past usually you don't make it make a crazy amount of money but the good thing is it will be adding a lot of transactions for you automatically so you don't need to come here take some swap it will basically do it for you automatically so if you have like one or two injective that you're not using obviously you can place it on a trading bot and it will continue to add a lot of activity on the platform but make make sure a lot that you do trade on the perps platform and also you use some of the pre-launch markets so you can participate or again at least increase your allocation for future airdrops this airdrop is done there is no way for you guys to participate but it was quite good i think the minimum that i saw was around a, around 500 pith tokens 
where are you? 300 to 500 pith minimum. So it was obviously quite good. So I am obviously expecting something good from Helix. So if you guys have enough volume, enough consistency, most likely you should receive something good out of it. So there you go. Let me know if you have any questions, any doubts, as usual. Thank you guys for watching. Take care.